Aloha and welcome to our video on the minor members of the solar system. In this video, we'll talk about the location of the solar system where asteroids are found. We'll talk a little bit about comets and we will talk about meteors, meteorites, and meteoroids. So let's talk a little bit about asteroids. Asteroids are rocks found out in space and we can see a picture of them here. Now we call them asteroids if we find them in a certain location of the solar system. So if we have our orbit of Mars here and our orbit of Jupiter here, between these two we have this large collection of asteroids and that's what we call the asteroid belt. So when you hear us talk about an asteroid, we're talking about a rock in space and it's located between Mars and Jupiter. Now this should not be confused with a meteoroid. A meteoroid is going to be a rock in space but it's not from this location. It can be from this and traveling through space we can call it a meteoroid. Meteoroids are located outside of the asteroid belt. Okay so next up let's talk a little bit about comets. Comets are interesting because these are objects that are going to be orbiting the Sun. Um, they do have a distinct orbit so they have an orbital period so we can predict when they'll be visible again to the unaided eye or when we should be able to see them or actually even where we should be able to see them. When we look at a comet what we'll notice is there's a nucleus here and then it has this bright coma in the front part. It also has a tail of ionized gases and also a tail of dust and what we notice is this tail of dust is always going to be pretty much facing away from the sun. Same with the ionized gases. So as it orbits around the sun, the tail doesn't necessarily trail the coma. It's going to be blown away from the sun per se. Now earlier I brought up a term called a meteoroid. A meteoroid is going to be a rock or object flowing through the solar system that's not a comet and asteroids, remember those are located in a certain area, so we have these other objects floating in the solar system as well. And the location from where these come are generally going to be either the Kuiper Belt or the Oort Cloud. And you can see with our solar system, we would follow the planets out and out beyond the farthest planet is where we have our Kuiper Belt objects. And remember we talked how Triton might have been a Kuiper Belt object that was captured by Neptune. So we can see how we have these objects here and they can be flowing in and out and things of that nature. So they might break free from the Kuiper Belt or from the Oort Cloud and travel through our solar system. Most of our comets we think are going to be Oort Cloud objects. So their orbital patterns are going to be like really long and that's why we generally don't see them every year. It's going to be decades in between sometimes these comets that we see them. Now if a meteoroid is a rock in space, a meteor is when it travels into the atmosphere and it burns up. So meteors are what we often call shooting stars and what that will be is it will be a bit of debris that breaks into the atmosphere and as it flows through the atmosphere the friction of it suddenly encountering other molecules and that would be the gaseous particles in the atmosphere that friction will cause them to burn up as such. So a meteoroid is in space, a meteor is in the atmosphere and if it were to hit the earth then we have a meteorite. And our meteorites, we can look here, we have Meteor Canyon here in Arizona, and that is a huge meteorite that came down and impacted and created that canyon. It's well worth the drive to go and see. Most meteorites are going to be a lot smaller. We do have some larger ones, though. And then we also have these micro meteorites here that you can see. And those fall to the earth all the time. So if you go outside and find a bunch of small little spherical, and they're generally going to be round because of that burning through the atmosphere. But you can see how small they are and they're pretty common to find. Now we mentioned meteors are shooting stars. So there are periods where we go through these areas where we will impact with these clouds of dust and things of that nature and that's what causes our major meteor showers throughout the year. Probably the most popular is going to be the Perseids right here in early August. And the Perseids are generally tend to be the brightest. You'll see a meteor a minute, a meteor a second. There are just a bunch of them flying out there when it peaks. But you can see that every we have a whole bunch of them throughout the year. So it gives you an opportunity to go outside and you can see some of these shooting stars. Okay, so that's it for our solar system videos. As always, good luck on your quiz and we will see you in the next video.